Understanding Destructive Testing Destructive testing is a crucial process that helps to determine the strength and durability of materials. It involves subjecting a material or product to extreme conditions that exceed its normal operating limits to assess its performance and identify potential weaknesses. This type of testing is commonly used in industries such as aerospace, automotive, construction, and manufacturing, where safety and reliability are paramount. In this video, we will explore the different types of destructive testing, their benefits and limitations, and when it is appropriate to use them in your industry. Exploring Different Types of Destructive Testing Destructive testing is a broad term that encompasses various methods of testing materials, components, and structures to the point of failure. There are different types of destructive testing, each with its own unique approach and purpose. One type of destructive testing is tension testing, which involves applying a tensile load to a material until it breaks. This type of testing is commonly used to determine the strength and ductility of metals, plastics, and composites. Another type of destructive testing is compression testing, which involves applying a compressive load to a material until it fails. Compression testing is often used to evaluate the strength and stiffness of concrete, ceramics, and other brittle materials. Another type of destructive testing is impact testing, which involves striking a material with a controlled force to simulate sudden loading conditions. This type of testing is commonly used to assess the toughness and durability of materials under dynamic loading conditions. Hardness testing is another type of destructive testing that involves measuring the resistance of a material to indentation or scratching. This type of testing is often used to evaluate the wear resistance and surface hardness of metals and alloys. Finally, fatigue testing is a type of destructive testing that involves subjecting a material to cyclic loading until it fails. This type of testing is commonly used to evaluate the endurance limit and fatigue life of materials under repeated loading conditions. Overall, the choice of destructive testing method depends on the specific material or component being tested and the desired outcome. Each type of testing has its own benefits and limitations, which should be carefully considered before selecting a particular method. Benefits and Limitations of Destructive Testing Benefits and Limitations of Destructive Testing Destructive testing has several benefits that make it a valuable tool for many industries. One of the primary advantages is that it provides accurate and reliable data about the strength, durability, and performance of materials and products. This information can be used to improve product design, identify potential weaknesses, and enhance safety. Another benefit of destructive testing is that it can help companies meet regulatory requirements and industry standards. Many industries, such as aerospace, automotive, and construction, have strict regulations and standards that must be met to ensure the safety and reliability of their products. Destructive testing can provide the data needed to demonstrate compliance with these requirements. However, there are also limitations to destructive testing. The most obvious limitation is that it destroys the test specimen, which can be costly and time-consuming. Additionally, destructive testing may not accurately simulate real-world conditions, which can limit its usefulness in certain applications. Finally, destructive testing may not be suitable for all materials and products. Some materials, such as ceramics and composites, may be difficult or impossible to test destructively due to their inherent properties. Overall, while destructive testing has its limitations, it remains an important tool for many industries. By providing accurate and reliable data, it can help companies improve product design, meet regulatory requirements, and enhance safety. Conclusion When to use destructive testing in your industry In conclusion, destructive testing can be a valuable tool for industries that require rigorous testing of their products. It is particularly useful in situations where safety and reliability are critical factors. However, it is important to weigh the benefits against the limitations, such as the cost and time required to perform the tests, as well as the fact that the product being tested will be destroyed. Ultimately, the decision to use destructive testing should be based on the specific needs and goals of your industry. If you are unsure whether destructive testing is right for your product, consult with experts in the field who can help guide you towards the best testing methods for your needs.